for the feast section of our program, we're going to make an, a pheasant recipe that has apples stuffed into the breast. And the ingredients we need would be three apples, some fresh thyme that we'll be chopping, some sugar, some salt, breadcrumbs, chicken stock, and these are the breasts here that, uh, from the pheasants we shot today. An onion that we'll be chopping up, apple cider vinegar, and some prunes we'll be chopping into in making a sauce out of uh, cream, heavy cream, and some bacon. So the first step is to make the applesauce, and at the same time, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Ah, we've got to work together. So we have all our ingredients ready to go for the applesauce. We'll put in our water, our fresh thyme, uh, a tablespoon, two tablespoons of sugar, a little bit of salt and the apples and we bring it to a boil and let it sit and while that's simmering to a good chunky consistency we're going to make the pockets in the pheasant breast and we need four breasts from our pheasants we got today the ones that are a little bit blasted we won't use we like a nice solid breast like that there's another good one. We've got these nice meaty leg portions in there as well. Now we're going to slice a pocket in the pheasant breast where we'll be putting the applesauce. Just like that. Just be happy with who you are. Just be happy with who you are. Just be happy with who you are. Pockets are prepared. Now we got to finish off the applesauce and put in our cup of breadcrumbs. We're making some uh, rice. This happens to be long grain brown and wild rice. One cup and two cups of water that we're going to cook while we're finishing up the recipe. I could use a little bit more water in here. I'm going out, I'm gonna have a good time, a good time. I'm going out, I'm gonna have a good time, cause the night's gonna be alright. Our rice is coming to a boil. We'll stir it a little bit and turn it down and let it simmer. Our applesauce is now finally got chunky. So we're going to pour in a cup of bread crumbs and mix that all together. And that'll be the stuffing for our pheasant breast. We'll turn the heat down on it. And it makes kind of like a nice Nice paste that'll go right in there. There we go, that's perfect. Take it off the heat, turn the rice down. While the applesauce is finishing up, we're going to make a very easy, simple acorn squash recipe that we make in the microwave. You poke your acorn squash with your fork 
so it doesn't explode. I'm going to cook it for about 15 minutes in the microwave and then we'll be done when we get our meat out of the oven. Our stuffing is ready to go. So we need a small baking dish. There we go. Now we put the stuffing into the the pocket we made in the pheasant breast. You can have it be uh, surplus on top of the breast. Just makes a really delicious, almost like st uh, stuffing. Okay, those look good. We've got the, the stuffing in the pocket. The next step is to wrap bacon around that. And I have some toothpicks here. And we will uh, try to pin this all together. The recipe calls for two strips of bacon, which we will use. And just lay it in the, in the dish. We don't really need the toothpicks this time. There's our last uh, rest. Now we will sprinkle our chopped onions. Before we put it in the oven, we put three quarters of a cup of the chicken broth over the breasts. There we go. Now it's ready for the oven. I've cleaned up my work area a little bit. The pheasant is baking. It looks like we've got about 15 minutes to go. So now we're going to put the acorn squash in the microwave. We'll give it five minutes and then turn it and give it another five minutes. By turning it, it'll be cooked thoroughly and it'll be soft. If it's not quite soft enough at the end of 10 minutes, we'll give it another couple minutes to make sure it's good and cooked, baked all the way through. Then we'll be, be cutting it into quarters, souping out the seeds on the inside, and be pouring over a brown sugar butter sauce on it before we serve it. We'll put them both in there. The acorn squash are done. I checked them by poking them with a the knife and they were soft and the knife went right in.
We'll cover these with an aluminum foil while we make the, the butter sauce and finish our breast recipe. And we'll put her on low. And we'll, you'll, we'll be using the juice that it's been cooking in for the final step in our recipe. And we're going to be covering these also with aluminum foil to keep them warm. So now we take the juice that's in the pan, put it in our saucepan. This is the onions and the chicken broth. We'll add our apple cider vinegar. The recipe called for a, a 16 ounce can of pitted prunes, but we've got uh, seven ounces of diced prunes that were not in a juice, and so that's what we're using for our recipe for tonight. Now we bring this all to a boil. Well, we want this to come to a boil. It's just about there. Checking our rice. Rice is done, nice and fluffy. And our brown sugar apple butter, ap brown sugar butter sauce is thickening up. Helps to turn on the right burner. Here we go, we got it boiling. And we'll be putting in the heavy cream and keep stirring it until it thickens up and then take it off of the heat. So we've got it boiling. We'll pour in the heavy cream. And when it gets thick, we'll take it off the heat and it's ready to be our sauce poured over our pheasant apple stuff breasts. Turn it down just a little bit. Okay, hey, the sauce is nice and thick. We're ready to prepare a plate for our guests tonight. We want to slice that breast. Cover it with our sauce. Have the apron, the acorn sauce. and a side of rice. Now that's a meal the hunters are going to enjoy. Apple stuffed pheasant breast. Well, I'd like to thank Les, the Field to Feast the host, Dr. Dan, who has been our guide today in the Brookings area, and Kevin Suter, who is lovely kitchen we've been using. And I'm Dave, I've been the cook for today. We want to thank the Lord for a wonderful time of hunting and fellowship. And let's just bless the food right now, guys. Lord, thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for your great love for us, and thank you for this great meal. Amen.
Never for the weekend 